Hey everybody, January 2020, 2020 vision. Are you living in 2020 or living in the back of the bus? Good morning everyone, how are you? I'm not upset, so I'm not going to be making the critical mistakes I made. talking about Israel Velasquez stealing $600 from me. And that happened, that's two years ago. I ended up, last contact was like last summer, or last fall, the end of summer, somewhere around there. Anyway, not even, not even 2019, we're talking about 2018. because I needed to close out my business that was incorporated in 2004, mothballed in 2005, and since I filed in 2004 and then my mother died and by the end of that year I was so embroiled in court trying to save my apartment that the business went down the tube. In this picture of me with Clinton Lucas on 11-24-2005 was my last day of work. Dr. Tube, the crusader, died Thanksgiving Day 2005. So now I make this video because my therapist at the Bronx VA called and said, Phil, this book cover could probably get the Secret Service to come after you like you're threatening a presidential candidate. So I made the video explaining why I fashioned my book cover like that. Because it's about redlining. And then ever since this guy was introduced to me by Dr. Fitzgeorge Medina, Fitzgeorge Peters Medina, this dude's been acting like he's my daddy, my big brother, you know, this guy's in my house, in my business, calling me, want me to do stuff for him, you know, like. I don't give a damn about no light-skinned boy that wants to turn me into his fucking slave. And I ain't so small a motherfucker that I don't try to fucking bust your dick string wide open. I was known to be a very, very, very violent uh, individual. Yeah, I'm sick. I don't take flu shots. So I get the flu and I suffer for months. But I ain't taking that poison. I used to be very violent. That's why I did so well in the range of battalion. <laughs> this guy's gonna call me a fake ass warrior. I'm an airborne soldier. Damn paratrooper. You really wanna know what this shit is about? You have no fucking idea. So you jump into that shit and find out. You are fucked as worse as the enemy, goddammit. They called me Smokey. You know why? I cared the goddamn smoke. Because I, I want to get the fuck out of there. Once you finish doing your bullshit, because if you're a freaking private, you don't get to like... Look, man. 
I don't want to go back there, okay? I've been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress syndrome disorder. That's a military service connected thing. Most everybody get it, but they ain't going <laughs> to compensate everybody. Here I am. All of this happened in between 76 and 80. And now here it is, 20, 2019, July 2019. The Veterans Board of Appeals says, yeah, you know, VA, uh, check them out again and, and compensate. So... Israel Velasquez, take that, put it in your freaking pipe, and smoke it. And then, if you weren't such a no good cheating bastard, you probably would have been working for corporate America, and you would have had you a couple 401k pension checks coming to you. Then you get the Social Security check. That's about a grand. At least three grand from the VA. Then the pension checks. For you to get four freaking checks. So I can take about a good $5,000 a month for life to freaking Asia and live out my freaking days. I don't need this bullshit, man. I don't need this bullshit. I don't need no fucking politics in America. I don't need none of that shit. I didn't have no kids. I will not breed a black baby in America. Never. You turn into one of you complaining ass motherfuckers. <laughs> Oh, God. I accidentally... No, no. I didn't accidentally. I neglected to clean up an email blast. where I'm, I used to have groups of emails. This guy's political shit. This guy, that kind of this. And, this. and so, I would have a group, on depending on what I'm blasting, for my propaganda. Now, I send this stuff out to people. For support and stuff like that, information, disinformation, and fixing what was being said that wasn't true about me during this fight with the Bloomberg administration. Now, this mulatto guy seems to think that. A Negro don't have a right to protest against oppression because he's a half-breed. I just want my money and go. My only beef with this guy is that you took $600 over four months, and you know, you, 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 you're Brevin's uh, referral, and you all up in my business, you coming to my house uninvited, you calling me every freaking day, telling me the goddamn stories. I, I'm being nice. I didn't know I was tolerating a freaking nuisance. I ended up cutting it off. And then he committed a crime against a friend of mine spitting in that guy's face. I would have broke his fucking jaw. Oh, and if that didn't happen, I stalked that motherfucker and put a baseball bat to that bitch. But I never committed such a crime. I never committed such a crime. He never spit in my face, so I don't have any reason to go do that to him. I want that to be clear. But he happened to be in the email blast, and then it was about 
this. And now he wants to start talking about, I'm some fake-ass warrior, uh, uh, Bloomberg beat me, and all this shit. He never had to fight for nothing. He light-skinned. He light-skinned. He ain't got to fight for shit in America as a light-skinned black nigga. And now, I'm looking like the bad guy. <laughs> what do I give a shit? If I don't like it, don't fucking watch. Block me, unfriend me, I don't give a shit. I don't see anybody walking through that fucking door right there to give me shit. I don't see anybody doing shit for me that I don't do for my motherfucking self. Well, unless you, you know, you like Stephen Aponte. I love that guy. We're inseparable. But hold. That's my boy. I don't give a fuck what kind of scumbag motherfuckers he know. You too, Dr. Fitz. I don't give a shit what kind of scumbag motherfucker you know called Israel Velasquez. He's fucking fired. He robbed me for six hundred dollars. I know you're a pacifist and you ain't gonna say or do nothing. Oh, it's your business. It's your problem. God, you should have never introduced me to him. That's all. So I don't take any more introductions from people. I meet you. It's one on one. One on one. And then this bastard continues to email me, taunting me, thinking I'm going to say something for him to try to use with Andre Soleil. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the bad preacher that's got with the law firm that's boning the African broad that used to be partners with him and then he ripped him, you know. <laughs> he ripped him off. You're a bishop and you're committing adultery with the African girl that's in your law firm. And um, you're stealing money from a non-profit. That's Andre, you're a one crooked ass motherfucker. Where is you? That's right, Reverend Andre Soleil. Israel Velasquez works out of his office, so whenever he rips you off, he's got a law firm to come and protect him, which is what happened. But I had already messed up. I trusted his ass too much and didn't get a receipt for them four $150 payments. That was his stake to go to the casino. And the third check, the third payment, he ended up sucking him into going to Pennsylvania with him to uh, Bethlehem Casino, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania Casino. Oh, you piece of shit. You piece of fucking shit. <laughs> About meeting some executive to discuss alcohol breath testing. I wanted to go to Bethlehem because Calvin wanted to introduce me to somebody about my, the hot sauce. And then this thing happens with this uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Mr. Wallace about his sanitation truck debacle and him calling me and cursing me out. I'm too much of a nice guy. 2020, bang! 2020 vision. I don't need shit from nobody, nothing at all, from anybody. I always had my own. I'm getting ripped off, hundreds of dollars. I'm doing ABA certified paralegal work product, giving to some hood rat that then influences my supplier not to provide 
the, 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 the cut skirts for my hot sauce business, like, like that's going to hurt me. No. I dump that bullshit and I get to this. That's real. That is national and international news. <coughs> Sick. So, is everybody happy? I hope so. Now I've done my PTSD ventilation for the day. Dr. Fitz. What's up, bud? Love you, bro. Yeah, Steve. Black. Charlie. <laughs> That's it, folks. Bye-bye.